Welcome back, hunters, to another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the hammer. Again, I apologize about my speech at the moment. I'm still recovering from that flu from the previous episode, so if I sound co <coughs> Oh, God. If I sound like I'm dying a little bit, it's probably the case. I'm actually probably dying just a tiny, tiny bit. So I hope you guys don't mind. I'll try my best not to sound like death. And uh, we're going to be hunting two new monsters here. Uh, actually... I believe it's one classic monster, and then the second one is a unique monster to the Monster Hunter Online, so we'll have a lot of fun with that. Alright, so let's get hunting! The first monster we're hunting today is a classic Monster Hunter creature, the Yellow Kongalala. Um, not much different from the Pink Kongalala, but uh, he does have a little bit of new attacks here and there. Uh, other than that, it's a giant monkey, so we're gonna take him out, and I'm gonna show you guys the hammer uh, while we fight him. Alright, we found ourselves the Yellow Kongalala, so we're gonna go up and start attacking him. Now, I've never really used the hammer much in previous games, so if I'm not the greatest, forgive me. So, the hammer has a few different movesets, and I actually uh, unlocked some of the other uh, moves through the books. So, uh, I'm not sure which ones they are. I think they just add, uh, like, an extra attack here after you do the charge. So the charge has three levels, and the, the final swing always does uh, the most damage. You always want to try to get the head to inflict KO damage, since this is a blunt weapon. I'm try to stay away from... If you charge and you're still in motion and then you let go, you can do a little spin attack like that. And that little move you saw at the end was when I pressed, I believe, the circle button to finish it off here. Let's see. Yeah. So you can- that's one of the moves that I actually unlocked uh, with the books. Did I already get farted on? So that's one thing about the Yellow Kongala, he just generally stinks. And what happens is, with that in mind, he is constantly sending out disgusting, toxic fart fumes that will make it so you can't heal unless the debuff goes off. And I should probably heal! I should probably heal. It's a good idea. One of the things that I really recommend is, after you do your charge move, go into a roll as soon as possible, and then sheathe your hammer, because then you're gonna be stuck in a, um, I guess like a, a cooldown after doing the, the charge attack. And you don't want to do that because then it leaves you open to attack from the monster. I like the, the fact that you have the three charges, it makes it feel like, oh, I'm gonna get farted on. Oh, I got farted on. Oh, I should probably... I should have probably, uh, you know, set up my uh, deodorant in the quick equip bar, but... Ha! Huh, yeah, th next game. I, uh, I got it. Let's see here. Alright, there we go. Ah, oh, you stupid mailinxes. Now, aside from the charge attacks, which I, I keep doing because I really love doing it. Oh, come on, what is going on? If you hit circle, you do a side swing and then you can combo into the double triangle attack, which is just hitting, smashing the, the hammer down twice and then, well, actually it's once and then it goes into uh, almost like an uppercut swing. You can actually cause KO damage, so if you keep hitting the face here, it'll cause him to get dizzy if we can actually hit him long enough to do it. I guess he just keeps grabbing, uh, mushrooms for some reason. I'm not too sure why he keeps doing that. I haven't seen him eat one yet. Alright, I got a good swing there. And as you can see, we almost have the full awakening bar again. Just his, uh, little fart ore is kind of annoying, considering that I just have to walk in his general direction and I will have that debuff placed on me. Deodorant! This is so inefficient. Don't do what I'm doing. Now, in the regular Monster Hunters, if you actually unsheathe the hammer like that, you can actually send players up into the air. And it's actually kind of handy in Monster Hunter 4 because... Oh, crap. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no! What just happened? Did... I just died. 
So that that's what happens when you don't pay attention and you're trying to record a show. Yeah. I'm just all over the place today. I'm sorry, guys. I don't even know what zone he was in. Now, I have my Ultra set up here, so I'm gonna wait to actually use it. Oh, come on. I should probably try to use it, but I need to really wait for an opening. The problem is... Okay, here, watch this. Charge, and then BOOM! Did I hit him? I think I missed him completely. Should've been closer. I, uh... I definitely should've been closer. Like I said, I'm still not used to a lot of these moves, and... Oh, come on. I just find him obnoxious. He's always been an obnoxious monkey. Pink or yellow. I'm gonna smash that little pointy mohawk in his head. Come on. Oh, perfect. I love getting zapped by bugs when I'm in mid-charge. The best. The best. I gotta heal so bad right now. I can't heal! Oh no. Deodorant! The most inefficient fight you guys have probably ever seen. Not good, not good at all. And I'm dead again. <laughs> yep, that's right. I got carded twice in this fight. I'm not a big fan of the hammer <laughs> in general, but hopefully I can finish him off here with a nice full charged. Yes! Oh, you have no idea how satisfying that was finishing him off with that supercharge. I'm sorry. I, oh, I hope the next fight goes better than this. Our next hunt today is a Monster Hunter Online unique creature. It's called the Hypnocatrice. It's a lot like the Yan Cuckoo, except for the fact that it uses sleep abilities like uh, Sleep Spit and I, I don't know. He just sends a bunch of these little pools of spit all over the map that put you to sleep if you walk in it. So you got to be careful. And he also has his own move sets as well. All right, let's go hunting. All right, we found ourselves the Hypnocatrice. I'm just gonna make sure I tag him because he likes to fly away a lot too. Yeah, and he sounds like a giant chicken. I gotta say, I really like the way the design is for this monster. Even though he does remind me a lot of the Yen Kukku, I still really like how he looks. There you can see he just spat on the map. Uh, if you walk into that, you're actually gonna get put to sleep instantly, so you gotta be careful. I should probably show you some of the other combo move sets that uh, the hammer has. If you do the secondary charge... whoops. Ugh. If you do the secondary charge, you get a bit of a lunge, and then you can follow up by hitting the triangle button and then combo into your regular uh, string of hammer moves. Killing those bugs on the map brings me so much joy. Oh, of course. Of course, he's flying away already. That's, uh, that's perfect. So, as you can see, instead of fireballs being spit out with his little rush move, he just does, uh, those little pools of sleep fluid. Hits here. You can actually combo into uh, the hammer move sets that way by after you do the spin attack, you just hit circle and then you can start hitting triangle to do your upward swings. All right. Hopefully we will do better than we did with the yellow Kangala. Oh. So unlike the Yen Cuckoo, he can actually. S make a ring of whatever his, uh, I guess, attack. I don't even know what to call it. Spit pool. There we go, got a good combo on him there. And while I had Awakening active. Fantastic. Boom. I'm starting to get a, a little bit more of a hang of what kind of moves I can do with the hammer in this fight, at least. I feel like, uh, in the... Previous fight, I was just kind of relying too. Okay, <laughs> that was a bit of a glitch there. I was relying too heavily on just doing the full triple charge and then slamming the attack on his head. 
as someone pointed out, that little thing that says meow meow up there, you just have to right click on one of these little what yell oh, white pa papers and then uh, activate it so that uh, he actually has the will to fight and uh, definitely don't want my cat just uh, snoozing around there. That's kind of a, a jerk thing to do. Got a good hit on his head there. Still no KO. I feel like it's really hard to, to land a, a KO blow on these uh, monsters in this game. I haven't really seen it too often. I, I love how this guy sounds. It's just so silly. Nice. Got a really good combo there. Oh, where are you going? I should probably try to get... There we go. Oh, phew. Don't want to be running around half the map trying to find them. Gonna get a good charge hit. Hopefully this will be the killing blow. Nope. Nice. And that's a home run right there. Well, that hunt went a lot better than expected compared to the yellow Kungalala, so... Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that fight. Ugh, ugh. So that wraps up another set of hunts. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the series. I uh, want to do a quick little correction that I noticed literally at the last minute. Uh, I kept saying that the Hypnocatrice was a unique Monster Hunter Online only creature. It actually isn't. It was actually first featured in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, which is why I thought it looked familiar, but I couldn't put my finger on it until I looked it up. So you're going to hear me saying that a lot uh, throughout the entire episode that it's unique to Monster Hunter Online. I'm going to put my foot in my mouth now. Uh, so yeah, yes, it is definitely not unique. <laughs> Going forward now for the series, I've actually unlocked a lot of new monsters, uh, especially since I've hit HR rank now, and uh, hopefully you're going to start seeing some of the new monsters that they started adding, and also any new creatures that start coming up in the future, as well as guild hunts, now that I'm a part of a guild as well. Thanks so much for watching, I wish you all happy hunting, and I'll see you all on the next level.